hey, I'm just trying to test out new features on this editor that I'm using. I've been using for what seven years now. Anyway, yeah, I've been gone for five months, once again, before doing what I usually do with this channel. Sad. I know I may use this as an excuse, but I ran out of content ideas. Considering the fact that there wasn't really anything new going on in most games that I usually play on the channel, like for example Geometry Dash, Beat Saber, stuff like that. Is really nothing. There was really nothing new at the time, so there's no reason for me to record. And honestly, sometimes I would just forget because I keep such a low upload schedule, and it just—I don't know how I do this sometimes. But anyway, yeah, 2023 rerun. I want to keep it less sad this year because last year it just sounded like a sob story and I don't want it to be like that again with the stupid you know text that just says oh January February July I'm, I'm not doing that this year this year I wanted to focus on the positives this year and no I'm not gonna go in monthly order again with oh instead of red text that says January it's green no but I've already wasted a minute and a half so let's just get on with it already as some of you may know I try to keep this rewind as real as possible by just not scripting it. Everything that I'm saying right now, all done in one take. I'm not saying this to flex, I'm just saying this so you know that I'm speaking off the top of my head. But another thing that I want for this rewind is not to be so long-winded like it was last time. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't bad that it was long, it's just I didn't want it to end up as long as it was, if that makes sense any sense because most of the rewinds they're about usually five six minutes long that one was 14 but anyway this year is probably going to be one of the hardest years of my life because this is the year where colleges are looking at my report card to see how good i'm doing stuff like that to see if they want me in their college now this doesn't mean that when i go to college I'm not going to do anything on YouTube anymore. I'll still do this thing. I've been doing it for seven years, about to be eight, coming next September, late September, early October. doesn't really matter at this point. YouTube doesn't know what it is. Anyway, enough of that. Back to the actual rewind. I've done a lot of pretty productive things this year, if I actually have to say so. Not regarding YouTube, but regarding stuff around my life. My personal life, my hobbies, a bunch of things like that. If some of you may not know, Polybeats, the game that I'm helping work on, almost the whole project almost got scrapped as a whole. Thankfully, due to some people in the team who were still adamant enough to work on it, it still exists. And now, now we have a Steam page. You can go wishlist the game right now as we speak. There's going to be a link in the description for that too and i've looked at some of the stats for this year i'm not gonna spoil it just yet you're gonna have to wait until the actual part comes up where i talk about it but all i'm saying is i'm just really not proud of them as a whole it's just like what am i doing with my channel at this point i thought i was doing good with me uploading for a pretty decent amount of time in january and february and then it just stopped for no reason and I'm just thinking to myself, I really got to work on this. If I want to keep a YouTube channel, if I want to have my username have YT as the bookend, not just because it sounds catchy, but because I actually have a YouTube channel, I'm going to need to work on it. So this year, I plan to upload at least 60 times. And I, that that's a hard promise that I'm going to have to force myself to make. Not because I don't want to do this, but because sometimes I just don't really feel like it and it's just i don't know how to do this sometimes you usually see other people on youtube who've been doing this for longer than i have 10 12 sometimes even 15 years maybe they're still doing fine they're still doing absolutely great uploading and stuff as usual sure their content may not be the same as before and they may not be at their peak but who cares 
So this year I'm going to force that mindset into my head that I have to upload at least something. Like at least maybe like four or five times a month. I have to have like some sort of decent upload schedule. Maybe once a week even. I have to pause because there's something weird going on with my throat. But anyway, I'm forcing myself to have a better upload schedule this year. And that's a hard promise. I'm not going to break it in any way, shape, or form. I'm going to have to upload at least something, which means I'm going to have to try and record, take time to do stuff. Even though this year I have to focus on college and stuff like that. Well, high school, but still, I'm going to make that promise. I won't let any of you down. I know some of you in the comments, the specific person I'm referencing, is going to be like, no, he's not. He's not going to do that. I promise you. I will help. Although that have reflected on the positives, there are still some negatives that have happened this year. Some of them I won't go into detail because it's personal. But I ended up losing my computer for a little bit because of a faulty charger issue that I've been having for two months. And it really sucked because I wasn't really able to do anything. I was just stuck with a school-owned computer that could barely even run Chrome as it is. But... Now oh, everything's back. We're all good. I can actually do stuff now. I'm actively working on polybeats and stuff like that. And I just hope this year turns out better than last year because these negatives have just really affected me. I'm not going into detail because, like I said before, I don't want this to become a sob story again. But I just hope that I have a good 2024. I hope you guys all have a good 2024 as well. And with that, I'm going to take you into the stats.